Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So in this session, I'm here with Siemens NX Draft Time. Introduction to Siemens NX Draft Time. Okay. So in this session, I'm going to cover auto dimensioning, that is feature parameters. How exactly we're gonna use them? We'll see here. Let's get started. So this is the model. You can switch to application from there. This tool that is Draft Time. Shortcut is instead of going to new and choosing it so this is the predefined templates if you want you can use it or else what you can do is uh, if you use the uh, template predefined you can't choose the uh, projections like first angle and third angle projections is by default third angle or first angle okay so if you use the standard size you could able to choose the projection as well as the sheet format and the size even this scale okay so even unit systems and all you can choose it by manually so once you're already with these things third angle projection is active just click ok this is the blank template you can create it and you can save it as template by just defining the uh, preferred settings so I would like to use this view creation wizard I'll explain this thing in the previous session as well it's quite simple just need to choose the options and you just need to set what exactly the uh, previous style you're looking for and the orientation uh, in the 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 parent the base one so it is right view at the moment let me just showcase how exactly it is going to vary okay so here we can able to add the layouts like the views which and all you need so I'd like to have this so the first view is the the This is the bottom view okay when it comes to the front view here it is side view for me so i would like to change it i'll go to this orientation so from here i'd like to use the front view so this is what i want to use it as the reference okay so according to that all the projections will be taken into account as per the third angle rule okay so now i'd like to eliminate these uh, boxes can go to menu and preferences and then drafting and then display border and check this option okay like this you can just remove it now when it comes to uh fully defining you can just search from the search bar that is feature parameters so once you search it it's going to give you the the tools which hasn't been saved in the command manager okay so it is the feature parameters tool. so by default it is hidden so if you want you can just add it wherever you want later on so I'd like to go with this option so here you could see the feature parameters is active the first thing is the features tab okay select the feature it is showing and second one is the views you can close this tab Yeah, these are all are the sketches which I uh, utilize to just create this. I'd like to select all three, and from the views, I'd like to select all. Once we're done with this, simply apply. Sometimes, if we do it, you'll get this warning hidden features cannot be used for feature parameters. So, whatever the sketches I have selected now, they're hidden. To activate them, just go back to the feature tree and just show this datum as well as the sketch one, sketch two, and sketch three. So that software can just grab the features and uh, the dimensions for that features. So again, I'll switch back to the same the drafting. We can just use the same search bar from there the feature parameters. Choose all these things. And from here are the views. I'd like to have these three. So if you want, you can choose isometric. Anyway, it won't add it there. Just close it. As you could see, the dimensions has been propagated automatically. So now, if you want, you can just rearrange them by just dragging it. Okay, like this. So if you don't want the dimensions. We can even simply delete it. You can even add the dimensions manually once you extract all the dimensions. 
can use the oh, rabbit dimensioning to add up the extra steps extra dimensions okay yeah so now sometimes you might need to change the actor orientation as we do in all the softwares here the dimension is missing the offset 11 so i'd like to use the dimension that is rapid dimension and from here to here it is 11. Okay. the placement is with respect to the standard it will just place it if you want you can rearrange the dimension placement as well okay so again from the preferences i'd like to hide these uh border previews so i'll just close that now when it comes to the the diameter orientation you could say how changed it to a uh, text perpendicular to dimension line instead of that horizontal text you could see the diameter if you just simply double click on it you can have this tab from there you can switch to text and orientation i'll close this i'll show keys again for your convenience just double click on the dimension like this and from here you can just go to text settings and here the orientation and location choose horizontal text and close it this is again change and even by default a customize it but that dimension i don't want i'll delete it one is enough for me when you can even add text and all to just have it in a better manner so this width was missing i'll simply add it manually okay so like this you can add it so here i would like to change the preview of this double click and go to the shading from here i'll change it to fully shaded and click ok so now in the fully shaded view you can see the all the sketches has been acting you can simply hide them by just selecting the sketches fine so this is how you can just use the uh, auto dimension techniques inside the Siemens NX tool and uh, standard orientations and using the uh, sheet, met, uh, sheet formats yep so this is a short intro about the auto dimensioning tool I hope you got it. Well, that's all about this session, guys. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye, everyone.